Hey everyone, OmniPower here, and today I have the answer to one of the questions I get the most. How do I start playing the Russian version of Lost Ark? Well, my answer is exit lag. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to the exit lag website and click on this free three day trials button. You're going to go there. Over here, you're going to create your account. And once you've created your account, you're going to sign into your account. Once you've signed into your account, you're going to go down to download exit lag. You're going to download it. Once it's downloaded, you're going to install it. Then I'm going to teach you how to use it properly. Let's get into that. Once you've downloaded exit lag and signed onto it with your account, you're going to use their little search bar over here and look for the Lost Ark RU server. Once you've selected it, you can try all these servers. Most of them give you more or less the same ping. I go with Moscow 4, but you can use Moscow 1 through 4, whichever you prefer. Once you've selected that server, if you see a screen that looks like this where nothing has been placed, just make sure you add the TCP routes or you can add two TCP routes and two UDP routes. It doesn't really affect it much. Feel free to test and see what works best for you. So once you've added the routes, you hit apply routes. And once you see this little red glowing button underneath the application that you've added these new routes to. That means that currently exit lag is enabled for that region of that specific application. Another useful button to familiarize yourself with in exit lag is the optimize button. This button runs an analysis of all your nearby routes and tries to find the best routes for you to connect and have the best ping possible to where you're connecting to. So I would run that before applying routes to the application that you're going to optimize. Perfect. Once this little red button is lit, you're good to go. Then now we're going to get into what to do next. Next, we're going to look at the Russian Lost Ark website. It should look something like this, and you're going to see this register button at the top right. It's a red button. Click it. It will take you to a window that looks like this. If you want to change the language to English, use this little drop down over here, select English and voila, it should look like something familiar where you would use to sign up to any other game website. Uh, enter the email, the password, agree to the terms and sign up or use the Google sign up button if you have a Google email account. Then we're going to go back to the Russian website and sign in. Once you've signed in, Go to the drop down menu and go to the download section. Make sure you download the game. These are the system requirements. Go over them if you need to. Once you download and install the game, we're going to proceed to the next step. Once your download is finished and installed, you're going to see a window that looks like this. This is the my.games game center. It's basically the version of Steam. You're going to sign into it and then you're going to look for Lost Ark. And once you find it, instead of this yellow play button, you're actually going to see a yellow download button. Then you're going to start downloading and installing the game locally. If at any point when you click the button, you get a notification saying this game is not available in your region. I recommend fully closing out the game center, going back to your exit lag and making sure that you have it properly set up to use the Russian servers to connect to the game client. Now, once the game is fully installed and you have access to this yellow play button, you are not going to start the game because now we're going to move on to the next step, which is installing and configuring the English translation tool so that you can actually view the game in English, even though you're going to be playing in the Russian client. So now we're going to download the English translation tool. So we're going to go to the website. We're going to scroll down. And the first link where it says download now, you're going to click it. And then once that downloads, I'm going to show you how to set it up. OK, now I'm going to show you how to use the English translation tool. Once you've downloaded and installed it, it's going to look something like this. You're going to make sure you're in the Russian tab and make sure that the installation folder is properly selected. Then you're going to select the language that you want it to translate to, which in my case is English. You're going to hit English. 
it should do a patch because it downloads the latest patch available and then it'll apply that patch as you're seeing right here once that patch is applied then I'm gonna show you the proper use of this tool because a lot of people run into issues that they can avoid if they know how the tool is properly used. So we're gonna wait for the patch to finish applying here and should be done. All right, we're good to go. Once you see this prompt, applying patch success, that means you're now ready to run the game client. But before that, I wanna give you some tips on how to properly use this tool so that you don't run into issues. So before you're running the game, you have to patch this translation tool and once it's fully applied then you're good to go when you're going to be running the game make sure you hit this minimize button so that it actually gets minimized and it's still running in the background you do not want to close this and then run the game because the patch won't actually be live what this does is that it translates the game files at runtime but then it removes that patch once you're done using the game. So the simple rule is as follows. You should always update before use, minimize while in use and close after use to avoid problems. End of story. All right. All right. So now we have it here. We're going to minimize and move on to the next part. Okay. So now that you've learned how to use the English translation tool, we're going to launch the game. Let's go. We're going to hit play. It's going to do an integrity test. So now you've launched your game. You will find yourself here in the server selection screen. A good tip to know if your English translation tool is taking effect is check your close game button or your settings button and those should be in English. Otherwise they would be in Russian. Uh, the server names will not get translated by the tool, but a brief introduction. This is Alderon or the A server and this is Kratos or the K server. Once you're ready to create a character, pick either server. Personally, I'm focused on Aldron, but there's plenty of people on both servers. You jump in, uh, then you will be in a screen similar to this one, possibly a different backdrop. And you're just going to click the new character button. You select your class and then you're good to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you want to watch me live, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash omnipower. Stay curious, guys, because knowledge is power.